welcome students to the new video of discrete mathematics my first request to all of you is that if you are coming across this video for the first time i would suggest you to watch all the previous videos in the playlist so that you get the context and understanding of the content that is required to follow this video right so let us start in this video we are going to first talk about certain concept which will be just a conclusion of the last video uh, we will talk about laws of equivalence logical equivalence uh, de morgan's laws for quantifiers and in the end we are going to do some very interesting problem uh, which are related to predicate and quantifiers so you need to watch this video till the very end to get better out of it and not only this you should also watch the other videos that will follow after this because those videos will be more about problem solving right so let's move to the next so uh, we have seen in the last video that if we have some a statement like for all x px uh, this is true when px is true for every value of x this statement for all x px is true when px is true for every value of x in the domain x in the domain now there may be a situation where the domain is empty right ideally uh, the domain is expected to be non empty but suppose i say that domain is an empty set then in that case if i write the statement for all x px is it a true statement or false statement right so this statement will be true in case in case the domain is an empty set this statement will be true what is the reason the reason is that we all know that for this statement to be false for this statement to be false there should be some x for which x for which px is false right there should be some x for which px is false but since there is no x in the domain since the domain is empty there can't be any such x for which px is false so that is why for all x px will be a true statement right the next thing that we want to look at that what about the statement there exist x q x when our domain is an empty set when domain is an empty set so in this case also you need to understand that when do you say that there exist x q x is true you say that there exist x q x is true when some value of x is there for which q x is true and when do you say that there exist uh, x q x is false right when you say that there exist x q x is false when it is false for every value of x right now for this a statement in this case when the domain is empty will be a false statement you might be thinking why because for this a statement to be true there must exist some value of x for which this statement is true i repeat it for this statement there exist x q x to be true there must exist some value of x for which this is true but since the domain is an empty set there does not exist any value of x for which this is true so that is why this statement is false take a pause try to assimilate this idea in case if you are not understanding try to repeat the video pause and play that should be your strategy next thing that we are going to talk about is precedence of logical operator so you need to understand that for all x 
the universal quantification and there exist have higher precedence than all logical operator from propositional calculus right so in case if somewhere it is written for all x px and qx it means what that since this has a higher precedence we will consider for all x px to be the first one and then we will consider qx right this is the right way of looking at this you should not confuse this with this that some of the students may confuse it with this that first i will take px or qx and then i will use the universal quantification no why because this has got higher precedence than all other you know logical uh, operators that we have seen earlier okay now let us quickly look at the laws of quantifiers the logical equivalence laws involving quantifier so if you look at the first law for all x p px and qx this is equivalent to for all x px and for all x qx right it looks very natural these two laws are very important and we will come across this quite frequently so this is saying that if i ask you what is the negation of a statement for all x px so if i have to consider the negation of this statement for all x px it means what when this statement is true this statement is true when px is true for all value of x right so when this statement will become false this statement will become false or the negation of this statement will be when we can find some value of x we can find some value of x such that negation of px is true so if we can find some value of x for which negation of px is true that will be the negation of this statement and that is what this the first uh, law here is telling you okay now let us look at the next law what is the negation of the statement there exist x qx right so there exist x qx means what when it is true this is true when there exist some value of x for which qx is true right i repeat when this is true when there exist some value of x for which qx is true so for this statement for this statement that is there exist x qx to be false means if i have to write the negation of this for this to be uh, false what should happen we should have for all value of x negation of qx to be true right for this statement what is the negation of this statement uh, th the original statement is there exist x qx okay means for some value of x qx is true what is the negation negation is for every value of x qx is not true means negation of qx is true so please keep these two statements in mind so that you uh, understand the next part now here we have uh, some uh, problems which we are going to discuss right so let us look at the problem one by one now see the first problem what are the negation of these statements there are two statements here there is an honest politician and second statement is all american eat cheeseburger so let us look at the first statement first so first of all to write the negation we are going to translate this statement using quantifiers so what i am going to do i am going to first define the propositional function hx that x is an honest politician right x is an honest politician right now uh, here uh, before defining this we need to also be clear about that what is the domain we are talking about so the domain that we are considering here is the uh, politician across the world all politician of the world all politicians right i am writing all politicians 
so there exist an honest politician means it should be written as there exists someone who is an honest politician means this statement will be true if out of all the politician in the world if i can find one politician who is honest so this statement will become true so this is the original statement right this is the original statement now i have to write the negation of it so negation of uh, there exist x h x right so it is what from the laws of equivalence that we have seen earlier in the previous uh, like uh, slide it was for all x negation of h x right this is the law of equivalence right so it means what that what is the negation of this statement there is an honest politician i am writing it over here in this side so for all x negation of h x means that every politician every politician is dishonest or not honest right i hope you have understood it right now if i look at the next statement all americans eat cheeseburger so let me use a different color so that uh, you get the things correctly so all americans eat cheeseburger if i have to answer this uh, first of all i have to write this statement using quantifiers so i am taking the domain i am taking the domain as the uh, domain containing all americans so uh, the domain that i am taking is all americans all americans everyone living in america is the domain now all american is eat cheeseburger so first of all i have to define the propositional function so i am defining the propositional function that is px right so i am defining x eats cheese burgers yes ladies and gentlemen i hope you are getting so px is x eats cheese burger so what is the original statement all americans means for every x px is true so that is what you will write for all x px now the next part of it is that we have to write negation of this negation of for all x px so what will be the negation this will be equivalent to there exist x negation of px and this i hope uh, you have understood by the laws of you know equivalence so it means what what is the negation if i have to write it it means that there is an american who does not does not eat cheese burgers i hope you like cheese burgers but this statement is being made in context of americans okay <laughs> so uh, next so look at this problem next okay now uh, i am going to quickly solve it uh, that what is the answer what are the negation of the statement first statement is for all x x square is greater than x right and uh, if i have to write the negation of this statement negation of for all x x square is greater than x then what will be the negation i continue over here it will be there exist x right there exist x such that negation of x square is greater than x which is equivalent to there exist x x square is less than or equal to x okay you should not just write x square is less than x rather you should write x square should be less than or equal to x right similarly you will be able to do this problem also so uh, since uh, i think i will be uh, discussing the other problems like this one and this one in the next video so i would suggest you that please uh, subscribe the channel and uh, also keep watching all the videos so that you get the you know sequence right and you do not miss on the concept right so that is all for this video just after this i am going to continue that 
थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब